All right, guys, what's up? New video here, and uh, the season is coming very, very soon. We have two weeks of Clutch Kickers round one, and uh, we tested the car. Runs great, works great. So mechanically, the car is ready to go. I have to do some small wiring stuff still, but no big deal. But now, it is time to get this car looking much spicier. Now, for the past few years, I had just kind of the color I wanted with some sponsor stickers and stuff like that. I have never been very big on liveries, but this year we're gonna spice it up and do a small livery and make it look really, really cool. All right, so my back bumper is being repaired right now. Should be done tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish off the wrap with that on there. But uh, other than that, the car is basically pretty, you know, sleek. It just has the normal sponsor stickers on there. But this year, it's gonna look a lot more, uh, just, just hot. It looks really good, it looks really good. The new uh, livery looks really cool. I posted it on my Instagram. I'll post it right here. So as you guys just saw, it looks much better and uh, it's a lot, it's just really cool. Uh, look spec did a great job uh, designing it and uh, we'll have some shirts to match this year's livery. Also coming very soon, stay tuned on that. That'll be made, take some time, but we'll be here soon. But like I said, I've always loved the look of this car and I wanted to do a small, small-ish, you know, touch to it. I didn't want to do too crazy of stuff, but uh, it's basically some nice graphics with new sponsors and uh, existing sponsors. Some same sponsor placement, which is fine. But other than that, I'm ready to get going on this thing. So, uh, we are not going to have a shop do it. It might sound funny, but I'm going to go for it and try and do it myself. Me and my girlfriend are going to try and do it because uh, everybody's either booked far away or way too expensive to do it because people want to charge, like, 800 to a thousand dollars to put vinyl on a car, which I think is silly, but they gotta make their money But like I'm not trying to spend that I'd rather just do it myself and do maybe just as good of a job because it's not that much vinyl So I've seen stuff uh, working with Adam before and helping out that kind of stuff It's not that hard. And it's not that bad So I went ahead and got a small like insulation kit from Amazon a heat gun and a bunch of other things ready to go Alrighty, so I have my heat gun here from Harbor Freight at level the kit for the vinyl. I have my entire livery in this tube right here, shipped to my door, all ready to go. And uh, we will get going on this and get cracking. Now, it's gonna be a very timely process. I cannot rush this. I'll probably have to film here and there. Probably a lot of time lapses, but that's just how it's gonna be. I'm working in a kind of a tight space because this car hasn't moved yet. We're gonna be working on this tonight, actually, after delivery. And uh, while I'm working on this, Jacob's gonna work on his car so he can kind of get this thing rolling so we have more room to pull the car in the center. But I'll probably, but when that time comes, I'll probably start the other side. I'll probably do this side right here. And then once uh, this moves, we can probably spin it around and have more room between uh, the two in the garage. So, yeah. All right. So, let's get to it. I'm very excited to get a new look on the car. And uh, I didn't repair some fiberglass things because it's just not needed. And it costs a lot of money. But uh, I got the rear bumper repaired because that was kind of trashed. And I want that looking nice. Even though it's probably going to get hit again. But, oh well. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's get to it. All right. Let's get this tube open. Which, which way is it? Where is the tape? Okay. Now it's a whole, I'm pretty sure this is all the graphics and the big sponsor logos right here. This is Kanzai, obviously. The Kanzai, this and that, some other ones here. Oh, these are heavy, holy moly. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on a minute. So, we do have all the sponsor stickers, well, most of them, right here in this, right, in this bundle right here. And then we have, I think all this right here is all the graphics. So we'll have to lay it out, get a picture of the car and just like tape it up somewhere so I can eyeball it and look where everything goes so I can just kind of go at, go from there. But first we have to get all of the old logos off the car and then come back to this and start uh, planning it out and start to apply the vinyl to the car. I got it all laid out, so here we have some cool looking kind of graphics. This is like the same uh, silver I had before. So all the colors are the same except for the new gun metal that we did. So this right here is basically the same silver as before that matches the wheels. And this is like a gun metal, metallic, really cool color, a little bit darker. They give it some contrast to the car, so happy about that. But I got all this side off so far, except for the BC Racing one. I might not have to do that one, so I'm going to leave it for now. Save some time, but... Uh, I might have to take it off, I'm not sure yet. But now, I need to uh, get the photo of the car, kind of put it 
in a place where I can just stare at it and then kind of find all the all the graphics that I need to use right here and kind of just like use the magnetic things I got in my kit to mount it on the car to get some sort of placement ready to go and figure that out from there. But all in all, I think I'll be able to do it pretty well, but oh, I will try my best. <laughs> all right, so the first one is on. The girlfriend did it. I show you on camera. No. Actually, I can't show on our camera because she's all, she's a mess. But we got, we got most of it, <laughs> got most of it on the car, uh, uh, kind of mocked up with the uh, magnets and, and tape and stuff like that. But uh, honestly, that one went on really easy. So that feels, I'm pretty confident we can do this ourselves. So, but we're doing everything with the graphics first, and then the sponsor logos after, and then tomorrow I'll probably finish that side over there. Alright, so I've done a terrible time filming this, it's been, I got into the zone, just started going, 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 and this whole entire driver's side is done. It looks really, really, really good. Uh, I can't pull out right now because it's too late, the car's too loud, but uh, it looks great. But uh, it's the next day, and we're going to jump on to starting the passenger side. We already started doing the front. The front is mostly done there. Got some graphics here. We got this done, but we have one small issue where... Uh, my vinyl guy, designer guy, accidentally sent these. This is for the driver's side shape and orientation. So therefore, on the passenger side, it won't be in the right orientation. So he is sending out the correct orientation graphics uh, Thursday. They'll be here Thursday. Those will be the last things we do. But for now, we're going to get as much as we possibly can on this side. So when the new stuff comes back in, we will be uh, getting this thing done. I can't install some of the graphics because the graphics have to go on first. And then the logos. It's coming together. I'm trying to film as much as possible, but uh, it's very hard to film this when you're kind of just in the zone and going. And the GoPro start time lapsing. You forget about it, and you just keep going. So I'll do the best I can to film everything. But all in all, it's going to look awesome. All right. So I got most of this stuff done here. Got Bob H works on Mishimoto, Kanzai, my MSR logo. I'm going to wait to do the BC logo because I want to have the graphics there first to match it up. Sorry for the loud ass dryer. But uh, other than that, we got Draft Chef Pro on here as well. And then we tested out this logo here. Looks pretty good, but the other one was also cut wrong as well. So we have to go and get either tomorrow or the next day when I get the actual correct uh, graphics and we'll get this thing done and finish. This video is probably kind of weird because while I was doing it, I was trying to film as much as I could because this side is all done. But I got kind of out of hand with that. But hopefully we can get this thing done within the next few days. All right, so right now we're kind of have a <clears throat> so right now we're kind of at a stopping point. I have a big dilemma right now. I accidentally put the graphics supposed to go in the back of the car, in the front of the car. I had to rip it off and redo it, and of course I don't have any spare vinyl. And of course that vinyl is discontinued, and you cannot find it anywhere. So I went to Guardian Wraps to try and find a similar color, and it's just way too dark. So uh, I don't want to put one bad graphic on the car, or one mismatched color so i actually did find someone with the correct color it'll be here friday and we'll put that on and then finish the entire livery and then uh we have to get the correct orientation uh silver graphic for the back because we have this one and it's the other it's supposed to be the other side but it's the wrong orientation therefore we have to have my vinyl guy send me out the correct uh, orientation graphics so it goes on this side because on that side it's flipped because it's a different side obviously so once we have all that the vinyl and the uh, livery will be done but so far it looks really really good For my first time ever doing this I think I did a pretty damn good job I mean it's not perfect but it looks great to me but uh, we do have some maintenance stuff to do and we have to announce my new sponsor and it's a sponsor I've always been wanting for a long time and that is Grip Royal I've had Grip Royal steering wheels my entire career of drifting but now I have my own custom Grip Royal wheel. 
I'm not gonna lie, I took a sneak peek earlier, unwrapped it, and it looks really cool. But basically, it's a stock grip oil, black steering wheel with my MSR logo on there. Not very custom, it's pretty uh, normal with just my logo, but having a logo on a steering wheel is really cool. But uh, special thanks to Grip Royal, Scott at Grip Royal for coming on board for 2022. Brand new nice black suede steering wheel to go on the car with the awesome logo. If you guys want one of these, let me know. I can get a code for you guys so you guys can go order that on my website with Grip Royal. And uh, I'll get that sorted for you. But let me know in the comments below if you want one of these and we'll get you taken care of. Out with the old... In with the new MSR Grip Royal steering wheel. A little bit different style of a wheel. This is the Brute. I'm pretty sure this is the older style right here. It's not as concave as this one. So I'm excited to try this one out. Have new nice and smooth black suede. And uh, yeah, so new steering wheel for 2022. And again, we will get these on the site. Let me know if you want one and we'll make it happen. All right, so it's the next week and we had to wait for some uh, more vinyl to come in. I got the correct orientation side graphics for the passenger side now so those can go on we can finish that back side here and then tomorrow i get my uh replacement gunmetal vinyl to finish that piece there and put the graphics on top can't put the graphics on first because it's an overlay basically of the uh the back graphic um so now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the back half here with the silver graphics and the bc racing and that'll be done there and then uh we'll be almost finished with the whole car so that whole entire driver's side is finished it looks freaking crazy i'll show you guys pretty soon i want to show you guys the whole car done and, and ready to go in one shot so uh yeah but for now we're gonna start here finish the back end here and then tomorrow jump to the the bottom piece here on the side skirt and then today well Maybe today or tomorrow we'll finish off uh, the hood graphic here. We have one on here because I don't have the other one. And now I have both silver pieces to go on the hood now. So we're on the home stretch. It's looking really good. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. It looks freaking so sick. I'm so excited for this. Got our new tires in. Got some uh, Valino Pergias 08Cs. Love these tires. Got six new ones here. Two new ones there. I got some like half treads here. So I think 10 tires would be plenty at the Freedom Factory uh, regarding how much packs we get and how much I drive and stuff like that. These last a good while, but uh, we don't know how it's going to be, but I think 10 tires is plenty because these are not the R's. The R's don't last long at all. You can have tons and tons and tons of grip, but I can make this car really grippy with a longer lasting tire, which uh, helps with cost. So uh, yeah, so uh, other than that, we're ready to go. After we get done this side of the vinyl, tonight we're going to put in a clutch delay valve in the car because, you know, 500 horsepower with this drive line. The axles are pretty good right now, uh, and the uh, the diff stubs right now are also very strong. And the weak point now is the uh, diff, the ring and pinion. It should be fine, but for preventative damage and God forbid anything else happens, the clutch delay valve will take a lot of uh, stress off of the, uh, the differential. Uh, the dog box has no give. It's straight, straight cut gears, and it's very, very... Uh, not like rough. It's like very aggressive on the, uh, the drive line. It's a lot of shock, and with the... Uh, the clutch delay valve does, it takes a lot of the shock away from the back and doesn't let you break things as easy. So I think that's another thing we're going to do tonight once it comes in. Should be in today. And then once that is in and the delivery is on, we are done and officially ready for Clutch Shakers 2022. This video is kind of, uh, I wanted it to be more detailed, but like once you get going on this, it's like you're in the zone and you just keep going and going and going. So I'll try to focus more now on filming, but like once you're in, you're kind of just like in the zone doing it. I am very proud of myself uh, for actually going here for the first time ever and trying to wrap a car myself. And uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, tedious, but I think I did a pretty good job. The front looks great right here. I think it looks really cool. Uh, but uh, other than that, we're almost ready, but uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna stop talking and get to doing this back half here and then continue on to uh, everything else. All right, get the back half done, ready to go. Looking good so far. So tomorrow when the other uh, vinyl comes in, we'll finish off the bottom half of this right here and then the hood after that. And then the vinyl wrap will be officially done. I can show you guys the full finished result. Uh, the Mighty Clutch Delay Valve uh, did not come in today. So now tomorrow we'll have to put the Clutch Delay Valve in so we can get that done. And after that Delay Valve is in, then we are officially, officially done and ready for Clutch Shakers round one.
right guys, she is finally done. The 2022 livery is on the car. It looks so good. Pretty proud of myself that I get this myself and some friends and it looks really good. I'm super stoked on it. I wish I had a better backdrop than my neighborhood in the house, but uh, don't have time for that because you gotta load this thing right now to go to Clutch Shaker. So it is done. Looks great. Both sides are done. We do have some hood vinyl to put on, but I'll do that later. Um, we're running short on time, but I don't really care for it. So we'll see if we go with that, but I'm loving the look so far. The new Kanzai Astros, the new uh, graphics, all the new sponsors. So stoked on it. But again, huge, huge uh, thank you to all my sponsors this year for coming on board and staying on board and helping me out with this year. I'm very, 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 very grateful for them. I could not do it without them. Without them, I'd be literally in, in some trouble. <laughs> uh, drifting is very expensive and cars are very expensive. I am very grateful to be in the spot I'm in to uh, be able to do this stuff. So I am very happy. We're ready to go. And uh, yeah, that is it. Very excited. So, sorry this video is kind of dragged out, kind of all over the place, but it did not mean to be like that. I was on some, uh, I had some graphic shortages and messing ups and stuff like that, but all in all, we got it done and we are ready to go. So, uh, oh, also, we have an enclosed trailer for Clutch Chickers round one. Uh, friend Jacob's dad has this, doesn't really use it that much, and he let me use it for the weekend and the rest of the rounds ahead of us. So, uh, I am very excited enclosed trailer much more room for uh, stuff it's very hard to put stuff in an open car with the you know kind of a small bed but very happy about that but all in all we will be on the way to clutch shakers very very soon all right so the car is done mechanically and the wrap is done truck and trailer is almost fully loaded and we're on our way to clutch shakers round one i'm about to install the clutch masters delay valve so we have much much less stress on the rear end so we can continue on without breaking anything i am very confident in the car very confident in myself i am very confident in my team i'll show you guys then later probably tomorrow when we get the clutch shakers but all in all we're ready the car was mechanically ready months before and that never happens with me which i'm very happy about no more last minute stuff other than the wrap but uh, other than that, we're good. Now we're gonna go install that clutch delay valve and we are good. But all in all, I will see you guys very soon out at Clutch Shakers round one at the Freedom Factory. But once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.